Welcome, my dear guests. Oh, wait a second. Better. Welcome, my dear guests. <laughs> my name is Blood Shadow King. And before I start this video, well, the game properly, I have to thank Monster Chick for suggesting. Uh, this game seriously I barely got any suggestions when I asked for but uh, she suggested me to play uh, Game of Thrones so I said why not even if I never watched Game of Thrones so yes when you are done screaming Thank you. <sighs> Please don't write any negative comments. Just stop and listen to me. If anyone is actually trying to do this. Okay, now that you are done with the drama. Yeah, initially I wanted to invite Monster Chick and pet, pet Monster since uh, they are inseparable. To help me at, at least with the first episode. But uh, things didn't go as planned. So now I have to play it by myself. <laughs> I'll be completely lost. But please help me in the comments if you know anything, if you can help you, me in any way, please do so because I'll be completely lost. Anyway, also I'd like to uh, thank Sweetor LP for his generous donation, which allowed me to buy this game. And I think that's all for now. Also, I think, yeah, I think that's all. And some special thanks for all my dear guests, because you are all special. Now let's start the game. <laughs> let's see, play. Begin episode one. The Northerners will never forget. Yep, I have no idea what's happening. It's loading. This game series adapts the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Also, I want to thank to tell tell games. For thousands of years, House Forester have been loyal benevolent to House Stark. In the darkest reaches of the Wolf's Wood, they harvest the rare ironwood trees. Now the North has been ripped apart by the war and rival houses. Seek to claim Forester ironwood for themselves and the... Ah, how am I supposed to read that? Okay, people singing. Too much positive energy. Jamie Lannister, King's Lannister, both break it. Brought to his knees by the men of the north. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Old Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Uh, pick up. Make sure it's spotless this time. Old Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Go on. Okay. Blood. Okay, I hope. That is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? You'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. 
And if we're being honest, why not? Oh, well, you'll see. Oh, of course, that's what your lord I will, you'll see. Well, hey, you that works too. Place on the Iron Throne. I had Andy, you know. <laughs> and in what? Capturing him! He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Room. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Uh, still tell us he caught Tyrion too. So what really happened? What really happened? Someone caught him, I suppose. That's Kenny man here and they'll say it was them. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I don't hand in it. Aye. And round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? Brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. This grows more far fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. Uh, it's your job. I don't take orders, take orders from, from you. you. No, but you take orders from him. You idiot, you're his squire. Fetch him some wine. Yes, but I take the orders from him, not you. Norrin's family has faithfully served yes, House Forrester like a nice guy. His honor is beyond reproach. And House Tully is forever in his debt. You've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Fetch your cup. Tonight we celebrate. He seems like a nice guy. I kind of like him. To Rob Stark, the king in the north! The, the king, king in the north! Oh! Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the young wolf's army and ride as the vanguard! The gods have favored us. Onward! The Castle Rock! Oh, yes. uh, From ice. Oh. Okay, I was silent. I was silent, okay. I have no idea what to say. I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, Men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question, what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. With me, my lord? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward hmm. your loyalty? What Let's can see. I offer you? Uh, I want you to fight. Well. I seek nothing. Nothing, my lord. Serving a noble house such as yours is reward enough. Oh, you're far too modest, Garrett. Whatever you believe is best, <laughs> my lord. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. Hmm. It's well deserved, Garrett. It's long overdue. I won't Hard let you down. I won't let you down. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. <laughs> now go and find Roger. I'm gonna make it to the top will, and conquer lord. the world. <laughs> From the bottom to the top. And then I'll be invincible. Is more wine. Can you give me a hand? Come on. Three your chest. Up to you. Uh, no problem. Yeah, no problem. I have been a squire longer than you. So? I outrank you. You should help me. How dare you, you sassy insect. Fetch <laughs> more wine. How dare you. my armor. Just my luck to end up Just so you know, I'm still way superior to you. Let him but fetch his own line for what? He's a drunk, it could be worse. and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, Bowen. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. 
See, that's why you're about that? Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. But not by much. Just shut your mouth. It's the truth. It's not like I'm making it up. <laughs> I don't really pay attention to what he says. At this rate, we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. <laughs> Great, all I know, that. we could be squires for life. All in wine around a fucking wedding. You'll get there. Time. You'll get there. Or easy for you to say. <laughs> Maybe if my uncle were castle in a house forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? I won't tell anyone right that I got there. promoted. Now I have better ideas. I have better plans. <laughs> I'm gonna get to the, I can, I'm gonna get to the top Take your and time. conquer the world. This world. You ought to have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. What's he going? Finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Hmm. Quite a lot of. Weapons. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What? What's wrong? Hmm. My What's eyes never deceive. Acting rather odd. We need to get back now. My eyes don't deceive. You don't understand. We need to go and take the fucking flagon already. That's What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Owen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. That idiot! We have to warn the others. Good luck. Bye bye. <sighs> yeah, you get left behind. I don't care, you are annoyed, you had a big mouth. You got what you deserve. I'd rather save myself. How did I do that? Ah! Okay, somehow I did it. Okay, now what? Now what? I'm scared. Okay. Nice fighting. Uh, uh, click and hold and drag. Okay, I did it. <sighs> this is hard. Uh, I'm worried. What now? What now? Pay attention, blood. I can't see that way with the mask. I must be careful. Don't you dare shoot me! What? No! I did it! I definitely did it! How dare you! I definitely did it! I definitely did the thing! Ready, boys! How dare you! Don't you dare, you insect! What? What in the world? I dragged... I dragged it up. What am I supposed to do? Okay. Ready, boys! Let's try that again. Okay. How? <laughs> Curse you. <sighs> yeah, yeah, he gets stabbed. Good for you. You are not the one that has to relieve this. Well, practically you do, but you won't remember. 
I do. Shoot that one. How? I did the thing. I did it. I'm supposed to press buttons. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready, boys. Shoot that one. Load. Shoot that one. Oh, I have to press buttons. Uh, okay. I did something. Good, I was saved, so I had to press buttons. The arrow keys, good, I remember that. Look out. Now what? Down. Good. Good boy. Uh, crawl forward to safety. Ah, I don't like it. Uh, Q. Q. Like this? Uh, e. I don't like it. I have to press too many buttons. Uh, down. This is Q. I pressed Q. Uh, ah. Right, left. I'm. <laughs> Thank you that I pressed left. This is so annoying. I'm working with a keyboard. And I have to. <laughs> move everywhere. Down. Uh, Q. Q, 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 Okay. Okay. Finally. Uh. Well, somehow he got killed. Good. Ouch. It looks like it hurts. Okay. It got saved. Good. Now, more cannon. Oh, he looks like he had a good time. Uh. Got it. Did you find Roderick? Uh. Speak up, Garrett. He's gone. Hey, he's gone, my lord. There was nothing I could do. Where's my squire? You didn't leave him, did you? What happened? Uh. I didn't leave him. I didn't leave him. But I couldn't save him. I didn't leave him. How could you accuse me of that? I feel. Oh my, my feelings. Ah, that one. Oh, I was too busy. Ah. I was busy acting. Don't you attack me with I. Why am I dramatized? Go, my lord, while there's still time. Okay, now what? Okay, I will save this guy. No, no matter what, I'm. I will try to save him. Seven hells. Uh. We have to keep moving, my lord. I'd never make it. Down like dogs. No, I like this guy. He can't die. Guard this with your life. Return it to Ironrath where it belongs. There's no time to waste. Okay, I'll take your sword, my lord. I fall into the hands of those traitors. You have to go. I will do as you command, my lord. You have served me well. 
I know I can count on you. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. The future of the house may depend on it. I swear the North to Grove. Home, my Lord. Whatever that is, I don't care. We don't have them. On your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! So I have to tell my uh, uncle that the North Grove should never be lost, but with him or something like that. Let's hope I remember. No! Oh, I like that guy. <laughs> That's not fair. Through the night. Oh my! So much drama, so much action! I don't know if I can handle it. That's a pretty nice intro. I kinda like it. So this is the song that everyone is... Uh, so... That everyone hums. Hums or what? Hums. It's pretty nice. Okay, I didn't get too much, but... Uh, so I have to tell my uncle, and only my uncle, something about the North Grove that should never be lost, but he, to him alone. Great! I don't know who's my uncle. Game of Thrones. I don't know who's my uncle. I don't know who I think. How am I supposed to deliver? Iron from Mice, episode 1. I don't know who am I supposed to tell that. I'm scared. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm lost and alone. And there's a pig. Was to move and the most to look around. <laughs> okay. The controls are pretty weird. Hmm? Blood. Oh my. Okay, is this all? Hmm? Dead pig. Something, something bad is going on here. I don't like it. Anything else that I'm supposed to... Notice what's there. You can't trick me. Come on, I saw something. Look at card. I smell trouble. That's father's car. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. It may be common, but at least still have his bacon. You annoying insects. I'm pretty sure those are not yours. Go along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <laughs> father. I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking... Get to your father. Let's not resort to violence. I recognize yet. you. You're a forester squire. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Where'd you get that sword? 
It's none of your business. The chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself. Probably none of your business, you insect. None of your fucking business. <laughs> We're gonna feed you to the fucking pigs. You insolent pest. You dare to change blood, Shadow King. That sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely... And your mouth is too big oh, for your head. And somehow you still manage to Bolton use it. Land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. Uh, e. Oh, I paused. H how, I, how do I pause? Huh? Uh Q. Ha, this time I got it. No. I'll have that sword, boy. Now you won't. Uh Come and get it. Get it, you bastard. Yeah. Not fair. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. No, they took my sword. You really are a pig farmer. Obviously, this one. It looks better. Q. Uh, eh. There. End up. Up your neck. <laughs> Oh, don't lose it in its neck. Okay, now what? Uh, and this one. Okay. Oh, not in the leg, you moron. E. Great. Kill him! Uh, e. Ah, I pressed the wrong button. <sighs> I pressed the wrong button. I'm still not used to, to where Q and E are. Uh, there. Just in time. Uh, here. Yeah, here. Annoying insect. Q Q Q Q Q Q Q. Ha ha ha. E. N. Up. Ah, I was supposed to. Mercy, please. I beg of you. I, I have a family. <laughs> Mercy. Mercy. Fine. This is the last time I do something you ask. Ha! Huh. Fine. You have mercy. Justice of or mercy. I'd have killed the one with the big mouth. I don't even know why I had mercy. I guess uh, this is my weakness. Well, small weakness of mine. <laughs> oh, pathetic. She hid. I'm supposed to be merciless. And yet I've been merciful. I tried to stop them. Is he dead? I'll kill the men who did this. Great. I have the sword, right? Sorry, but those are important business. Iron Iron Wrath. Stronghold of House Forester. Okay. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived!
Cut it. Okay, where's the uncle? I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the master. Meet us in the great hall. Quickly. I suppose this guy is the uncle. Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Okay, what now? The blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Oh, thank you. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done uh, anything different than you. I had no choice. Me. I had no choice but to defend myself. Of course. Mm -hmm. We can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Mm -hmm. Uh, well, click and hold, then drag. Okay. Oh my. That looks like it hurt. Ah, I heard about this. Using worms in order in order to days, I fear. eat the the Lord of the house, dead the eldest son through such tissue. a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. You don't let me talk. This is interesting. The houses than hours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man, and poor Roderick. Uh, a man, but he would have what do we do now? Lord. What do we do now? The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now, although he is young. And altogether unprepared to lead. Who's Lord Ethan? Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? What? What? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He's uh, as good with the sword as any man I've seen. Some there was nothing we could do. Doesn't train in the art of I don't know what past. that guy was. Roderick had already fallen. Roderick. There was nothing we could do. No idea who that I'd is. imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. I all know. Hmm. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first. To see if you can put any weight on that leg. Okay. Yes, as I was saying. Go on. Don't mm. stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Mm. Well, now I can walk. So, as I was saying, uh, I heard about uh, using uh, maggots, in, you know, worm, those worms, in order to clean wounds and to keep them clean. They eat the dead tissue. And uh, they are very useful, although for some it may be an unsightly view. Well, I can handle it. <laughs> but I would rather, uh, but I'd uh, rather not have to use them. I'd, I'd rather not be in a situation where I would have to use them. What about the Lord's chain? Uh, chair. Why are you walking over there for? There. Okay, so I just looked at the chair. Window. The Ironwood Grove. Wow, great speech. Okay. This is a bit interesting. We can uh, enjoy it. Okay, tapestry. 
Mirror. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Okay. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Oh, she was a woman. Like I was a forester myself. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. I don't even know who Ron was. Roderick. He was our best warrior. Uh, Roderick. Uh, you know, the, they said about someone dying besides the scout. Was it? You know, I'm a bit confused then about what happened back there, okay? Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Hmm. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Why? I don't know where the man you seem to be favoring it. Pages. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Mestro Tengrin. Look, I'll show you. I don't know anything about this game. I barely know anything. I don't even know how I made it this far. Medical supplies. What's here? Bucket. Okay. <laughs> they better keep my own here. Pick up bandages. Oh, I can keep them. Nice. Healing herbs. Yeah, don't mind. Yeah, don't mind me. I'm just stealing all your stuff. And touching your maggots. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. Mm-hmm. Cute, uh, cute as the flesh when they were mm -hmm. put in. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. Hooray! So I won't lose my leg. Okay, first... Look at. Keep moving. I need to see you walk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Hey. See? What do you think about these moves? Mm -hmm. uh, no. You see there? You're limping again. I'm fine. Really. Ah. Uh, what do you think about my moves? Should I dance now? Hmm? Do you like how I rotate? My sexy, sexy rotation. I don't know what I'm talking about. Shut up. Good. Now that I'm busy, I want to talk to you. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Uh, why why do the White Hills hate the foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. Words are stupid. The White Hills want Forrester Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them, especially now with the Boltons in power. And proceed to clear-cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left. Just as they've done before. Who is the new lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. Okay, can you help me? At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is challenging. <laughs> There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. What will happen to me now? Excellent question. <laughs> hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Royland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Lord Forrester promoted me. At the Twins, I... I'm no longer a squire. 
if that matters. It might, I suppose. Oh. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. Can I see him? Is he here? He is. But I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his lute. Mm-hmm. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. She looks nice. I'm home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what she happened. Looks nice. oh. Is it true? Your family... What's happening? So sorry. Nato. Yeah. Off to bed now. Hurry on. <sighs> Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. He saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. You were with Roderick. Yeah. I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester... He fought valiantly. He, he fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us. This is difficult for me, girl. I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? Nah. If you can remember. It would mean so much to the family. He, he said he loved you. He said he loved you. He told me to tell about the grove and kind of you to say. stuff only to my uncle. That's what I do. Ethan should have it. Now that he is Lord. Lord Forrester asked me to return it to the house. He said this is where it belongs. Oh. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Okay, where is my uncle? This was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay, Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They killed my family. My family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. If not now, when? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached hmm. to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You uh, lost too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. It was his We need to be smart. Always be smart. Right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. Anchor. So, what's to be done? <sighs> so my anchor is dead. This one. It will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a face. sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. Mm -hmm. Not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, as any man would. It wasn't murder. It, it was, was so... justice. Not in their eyes. It was, so it was just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan. The boy where would they go? Enough. But where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. You're sending him to the wall? 
The boy's done nothing wrong! Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. I go if I have to. I'll do what's best for the house. So I'll go. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. Hmm. That settles it then. Ah, it's such a shame. You can have my horse. I don't know I'll what the word plenty of food, but we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Okay. Wait! I have to talk to you! It was something about... A thing to me. which I don't I remember. I would drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given a chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the House ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered. Yeah, I have it. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. I'll do what's best. I have to tell him the message. Which often isn't what's easiest, but necessary nonetheless. I have to tell him. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. Here it is. What? The North of Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, Here it is, finally. The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry, you caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if what, ever. What is the North Grove? What is the North Grove? Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools, hmm. and it's better kept that way. You haven't told anyone else, have you? Obviously, no. This is important, Garrett. I need to know the truth. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. <laughs> From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. Wait, I don't remember what don't was the word market. of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. I forgot what the North Grove was. It was. I didn't pay enough attention. Great. Now what do I do? Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I make, make you, pr you proud. You already have. I think I already knew he would say that. I had a feeling. <sighs> okay, so Sorry, now wait. I can go. What? Oh! What's that? A necklace? Be safe. Thank you. Hmm. Is that going to help me or is it just a memory or something? Hmm. A long road ahead. Okay. Ethan? Ethan. Or Lord Ethan. Mm -hmm. So he's the current Lord Forrester. He hides too well. And if he were smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. You found me! Well done, Ryan! I was so nice. Worry. 
It's just a game, Ryan. I just trust myself. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want her to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. Garrett is smart. Because I'm the one using him. Garrett is smart. That's because I'm the one. Tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Huh. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Roiland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. What? Sir Roiland forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. <laughs> he doesn't know me or, or what I'm capable of. What does milksop mean? I don't know. I don't know either. No, it's not good. Someone explain me. You should let Sir Roiland teach you how to wield a sword. Like, like a man. He taught Roderick and Asha, and he even showed me oh. how to fight. Properly, I know. So I should wield a sword like a man, right? Then you hold a, a prank man like a woman. How is that for sexist? When we younger, when we all used to play here, you, <laughs> me, Roderick, Asha... Only really, because I'm a man it doesn't mean that you have to, uh, to use I? certain you weapons or something yet. like that. So I prefer poison. Then, well, and everything changed. Or traps or stuff like that. So Especially poison. In training. You never smiled anymore. And Asha, I think Asha just got words. angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. To be are. like what? I didn't really hear you. I know a lord Sorry. has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. It's for you to decide for yourself. I, I promise, promise I won't change. I, won't change. I, Good, I don't know. because I'd rather have a brother than a lord. You'll have to have both, I'm afraid. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. Huh. it with that simple. Uh, nice as many as you'd like. That's not as, as many as you'd Lord. like. <laughs> as many as you'd like, yes. <laughs> I like yeah. sweets. Of Come on. Why not? has a sweet tooth. I have a sweet tooth. Tooth too. Lord Ethan, you're Why not? A great hall at once. Quickly, on your I feel feet. generous. We which lovers have to be here uh, we have to stick together. Like What's sugar and stuff. Lord Whitehill has arrived. Unannounced and certainly unexpected. Well not necessary. Demanding justice. But still Can't it's only like a good Duncan? Joke. He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. I'm we sorry. Really must go. Unfortunately. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. I might remind you, Sir Royland, I'm the new Lord of House Forrester, not you. <laughs> of course, my Lord. So Royland. You should go. It's what must be done. Fine. Let's be done with it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was a good choice. Hmm. You showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you said you were the Lord. 
Now prove it. Let's Shut not up, do please. something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. What should I say to him? Tell him and his men to leave. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. We have to be careful, you fool. You mindless brute, we have to be careful. We can't just act without thinking. Who's that insect? I'm sorry. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. Wow, you're ugly. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me. Thank in my you, house, you. But to his family, it's still a loss. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. How dare you? How dare you? I dare, and I'll do as I damn well please. And no bread and salt! What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? Yes. You bloody bread and salt? What are no we in Romania? Curses. I should have expected as much. My apologies. My apologies. Please forgive us. Forgive Indeed. you? Not likely. You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. <clears throat> and we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries, you cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the Ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share I don't know what I'm doing. Us. You're no fucking choice, but to harvest what was left! What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business. Keeping the king's peace, as his lordship <laughs> here said. Sure. And your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attack for no reason. Garrod was only defending himself. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men! And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire? Lord it's not Ethan, my fault that your men are fighting. In your name. And you are the Lord of the How do you answer for it? people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. So Lord what? It's worth a hundred of their type. All humans are equal in the eyes of death. What have you done with him? We haven't seen him. He was never here. You little liar. I will find him. By the gods, you better hope I do, because if I don't, I'm holding you responsible. And you'll answer for what he's done. Shut up, you idiot. Until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. <laughs> yeah, in trouble. Lady Forrester. Don't tell the rest of like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? Indeed. I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... This is not over! It's oh, over when my it son is. says it is. This is over, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you... Oh, I should have chosen to thank you for coming. I like that more. That lad may be Lord of this house. <laughs> Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forrester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. Uh, do do as you like, Lord Whitehill. <laughs> Hmm. 
defiance or diplomacy? I was wrong about your son. Both. Mother. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. <clears throat> that was so exhausting. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If okay, wait a second. I'm sorry for that. I be back. I have to get uh, the flashlights. Apparently, the light is starting to fade away. Good. Now that the lights are on, great. One of my flashlights is dying. Wonderful. It's presented to her as it should be. I only managed to make three videos today. What do we have here? Carved iron tree. Ethan made this for me. Uh, no, Yankish Park. Well, thank you for your attention, my dear guests. <sighs> I'll end the video here. And until next time, I will be watching you. <laughs>